Let's meet the finalists for the 2022 Harlan Hill Trophy. Representing Super Region 1 from Shepard, senior quarterback Tyson Bajent. Bajent, the 2021 Harlan Hill recipient, led the Rams back to the semifinals of the NCAA Division II playoffs for the second straight season. He set the all-time NCAA Division II record for passing yards in a career with 17,034, passing touchdowns with 159, and touchdowns responsible for at 174. This season, he threw for 4,580 yards to become the first player in Division II history with three seasons of at least 4,000 yards of total offense. From Concord, junior wide receiver Jared Bowie. Bowie, the Mountain Lions' first ever Harlan Hill finalist, broke out in a major way in 2022. After totaling 35 catches and 484 yards entering the season, he led Division II with 102 receptions and 1,773 yards. His 18 receiving touchdowns ranked second in the country. He broke the Mountain East single-season record for receiving yards and set the school's single-season records in all three major categories. He registered four games with double-digit receptions, five 200-yard games, and five multiple touchdown games. Representing Super Region 2, from Newberry, sophomore running back Mario Anderson. Anderson joined former Wolves quarterback Raleigh Yeldell as only the second player from Newberry ever named a Harlan Hill finalist. He set the NCAA record for rushing yards in a quarter with 201 in the fourth quarter against number 12 Lenore Ryan. Anderson finished the year with a school single season record of 1,560 yards rushing and he scored 19 touchdowns. He surpassed the 100 yard mark nine times out of his 10 games played. He ranked in the top 10 nationally in all-purpose yards, rushing yards, yards per carry, and rushing touchdowns as well. From Virginia Union, sophomore running back Jada Byers. Byers, the Panthers' first ever Harlan Hill finalist, led the nation by rushing for 1,928 yards, a total that broke the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association and school records. Byers also led Division II in all-purpose yards per game. He finished the season as one of only two players in all of college football to average more than 200 all-purpose yards per game. He additionally ranked in the top 10 in D2 in total touchdowns, 6th with 21, and yards per carry, 7th at 6.79. Representing Super Region 3, from Washita Baptist, senior running back TJ Cole. Cole, the Tigers' first Harlan Hill finalist, helped Washita complete its fourth undefeated regular season in the last eight years by running for 1,672 yards, a total that ranked fourth in the nation, and 26 touchdowns, the third highest total in the country. He also boasted the second best yards per carry as he averaged 7.43 yards per rush. He set the school's single season record for rushing yards and rushing touchdowns, as well as the career record for rushing touchdowns. He tallied 10 100 yard rushing games. From Nebraska Kearney, senior quarterback, TJ Davis. Davis, the runner-up to Bajent for the 2021 Harlan Hill Award, became just the Loper's second two-time Harlan Hill finalist. He finished the season as one of only two Division II quarterbacks to run for at least 1,000 yards and throw for at least 1,000 yards during the season. He has surpassed 4,500 yards passing and 3,000 yards rushing for his career. Additionally, he has accounted for 102 career touchdowns, including 29 in 2022. From Ferris State, senior defensive end, Caleb Murphy. Murphy became just the eighth defensive player named a Harlan Hill finalist since 1995, when North Alabama's Ronald McKinnon became the first and still only defensive player to win the award. He led all of college football with 37 and a half tackles for loss and 25 and a half sacks. The 25 and a half sacks set the NCAA single season record and he has seven and a half more than any other player in the sport. He led a Bulldog defense into their third appearance in the NCAA Division II National Championship game in the last four seasons. Representing Super Region 4, from Bemidji State, junior quarterback Brandon Alt. Alt repeated as a Harlan Hill finalist as he guided the Beavers to a 10-3 season, a second straight trip to the Division II playoffs, and the program's first ever home playoff victory. He led the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference and ranked in the top five nationally with 3,000 864 passing yards, and 38 passing touchdowns. During the 2022 season, he set the program's all-time records for passing yardage with 8,649 and passing touchdowns with 94. Finally, 
from Colorado School of Mines, senior quarterback John Matoka. Matoka joined running back Michael Zeman to give the Ore Diggers a pair of Harlan Hill finalist teammates. Matoka led Colorado School of Mines to their first appearance in the NCAA Division II National Championship game after throwing a D2 leading 50 touchdown passes. He also leads in pass efficiency. His 4,558 yards rank second in the country. He quarterbacked the nation's top scoring offense, one that has surpassed 40 points 11 times this season. And in four playoff games, he has thrown 17 touchdown passes against just two interceptions. And the winner of the 36th Harlan Hill Trophy as Division II College Football Player of the Year is John Matoka from Colorado School of Mines. 33 yard line, Matoka pumping. And he's still on his feet after a big hit. Able to get rid of it. He's gone. The receiver. It's Josh Johnson. Johnson into the end zone. Touchdown, Ordigers. Matoka received 37 first place votes to total 178 points. Murphy finished in second, while Bajent placed third. Thank you for watching the presentation of the 2022 Harlan Hill Trophy. The Little Rock Touchdown Club will present Matoka with the Harlan Hill Award at its year-end banquet on Friday, January 13, 2023.